The truckies hitch would have to be one of the most useful knots in the entire universe. Um, one of its main purposes is to tie down the load on a trailer. It can also be used when you need a really strong guy rope to tension some fairly large structure where you've got to have uh, a lot of strength in what's holding up that structure with the guy rope. Um, but we're going to focus on tying down the load and we imagine that we've got our load up here and there's some rope coming over the top of that load and what we would like to be able to do is to put some tension onto that rope so that it's going to uh, keep everything firmly in place. Um, the way I'm going to show you how to tie this particular uh, trucky hitch, there's lots of different ways of doing it, but this particular method means that you don't have to access the end of the rope. And that means that if you've got a really, really long rope that you're trying to tie down um, over, uh, back and forth across the load on your trailer, uh, you can try you can tie truckies hitches part way through without having to have thread the end all the way through uh, the rope because the way that I'm going to show you how to tie it, uh, you don't need the end at all. It just gets tied where you are um, with just a little bit of rope that's with you, not the whole end of it. So this is quite a, a nice way, I think, of tying a truckies hitch. So we've got our load coming down, well, our load rope, I'm calling it, coming down here. And that needs to go around some sort of anchor point. So it's been tied at the beginning with a clove hitch and it's gone across maybe back and forth and put some tension on it already um, as you've gone across the load. But in order to tie the truckies hitch and put some more tension on it, we need an anchor point. It might be something on the trailer that you can, uh, a bar on the trailer that you can uh, wrap your rope around. I'm just using my tow bar, which is completely silly. Um, and the way I do it is I take this tail end, this loose end that has gone around here, so here's my load rope that's coming down from the load, and I just make a little loop there, just sitting over the top of my load rope. And what I'm going to do now is reach through and grab the load rope, and I'm actually going to let go of that tail end, it's just going to sit there. And I'm going to make a loop out of what I've grabbed, like that. And then up here, on the load rope, I'm going to make another little loop, um, a bit like a twisted loop like we make for the, a bowline or for a, um, uh, a sheep shank. And what I'm going to do is I want to thread the bottom loop into the loop that I've just made. Now I have to choose which way and which side I'm going to thread it through. If I thread it through when the load rope is at the back, that's going to be completely silly because as soon as I let go it just falls apart again. So I need to sort of twist it around so that I'm threading it through with the load rope side nearest the loop that I'm threading through. Hopefully that will make sense to you. Put it this way, if it falls apart you've got it wrong and if it falls apart just twist it the other way. So when I've got that pulled through once I can now put tension on it and it will tighten so that loop that I made to thread my lower loop through now locks around that lower loop and what I've created kind of is like a pulley and I can now sort of put tension on things and pull down on uh, the rope and it will tighten across the load and keep it all secure. And then I can go around and anchor, either finish off with a clove hitch or a round turn and two path hitches on some anchor point on my trailer or whatever or if I've got lots more to do I just loop that round an anchor point and keep going back and forth across my load. So let me just show you that one more time hopefully with an explanation again so that you can sort of just see what I'm doing. Load rope wrapped around some anchor point. I'm not actually doing this one the other way around it actually doesn't matter which way around you put your um, loose end across. So you just create that loop reach through, grab your load rope and pull it upwards to make a loop and what you need to do, and you might need to loosen, sometimes you need to loosen the rope just a little bit to give yourself a bit of leeway here. I want to make a loop up here and I want to thread this loop through so that it's going through on the side that the load rope is going uphill. That's probably the best way of describing it, I guess. Hopefully that made sense. Oops, am I? Rope's lost its anchor. And now I pull on the tail end 
and that will tighten everything and create the pulley and I can put tension. And that is a truckies hitch and you'll notice that I never ever touch the end of the rope at all. Most awesome knot in the entire universe.